Okay, I'm going to start this book, Humphrey's Treasure Hunt Trouble. And it's a short chapter book, so it has a little bit of pictures, but not on every page. So you'll just have to use your imagination. And it was published by um, Puffin Books. Okay, the first chapter is called Secret Treasure. Can you keep a secret, Humphrey? Garth whispered. Of course, I whispered back. But since I'm a hamster and Garth is a human, all he heard was squeak. How about you, Og? Garth asked my friend. Og answered, boing. <laughs> He's a frog who makes a very, very, very strange sound. There's going to be a treasure hunt in my backyard tomorrow, Garth said. Don't tell anyone, okay? Wow, I squeaked. I wasn't sure what a treasure hunt was, but it sounded exciting. Boing, boing. Og splashed around in his tank. I've worked out some of the clues already, Garth said, and I haven't even told AJ. So there's a picture. He's talking to him. There's Humphrey. Okay. AJ is Garth's best friend. They are both in my class at Longfellow School. I'm the class hamster in room 26. Og is the classroom frog. It's part of my job to go home with a different student each weekend. But Og usually stays in room 26. This weekend, Garth invited everyone in our class to a party. He even invited Og and me. Our teacher, Mrs. Brisbane, said we could both go. That made me happy, happy, happy. My cage and Og's tank sat on the desk in Garth's room. We watched as he cut paper into squares. Here's another picture. You can see Og in his tank. Okay. The clues should be hard, he said, but not too hard. After all, somebody has to find the treasure. What's the treasure, I asked, wishing Garth could understand me. Garth stopped cutting paper and looked at me. Thanks, Humphrey, he said. You gave me an idea of where to hide it. You're welcome, I squeaked but I want to know what the treasure is. Boing, Og said. As Garth began writing on the squares of paper, I thought about treasures. In the books Mrs. Brisbane read to us in class, people often looked for treasure. It was always something special, like gold and silver coins or sparkly jewels. Sometimes treasure was buried in the ground. Sometimes it was at the bottom of the sea. I scurried to the side of my cage near Og's tank. What kind of treasure would you like? I asked him. Og just stared at me with his goofy eyes. I didn't think coins or jewels would be much use to a frog. He'd probably rather have crickets or flies. Ew. <laughs> coins or jewels wouldn't be of use to a hamster either, but I still wanted to go on the treasure hunt. Suddenly, a small voice called out, Ham! Garth's little brother, Andy, raced into the room. He gave... Uh, he came over to my cage, but first, here's a picture. He's thinking about gold, jewels and coins, and then he's thinking about what Og would like. Crickets and flies. Ew. Okay. Garth's little brother, Andy, raced into the room. He came over to my, my cage. He's a hamster, not a ham. Garth told him, ham! Andy shouted again. I don't like being called a ham, but Andy is very young, so it's okay. Andy pointed at the squares of paper. What's that? That's where I'm writing down clues for the treasure hunt, Garth explained. What's that? Andy asked. It's a game where my friends have to follow clues and see who can find the treasure first, Garth said. What's that? Andy asked, pointing at Og. That's Og the frog, Garth said. Now be quiet so that I can think of the clues. Garth put his finger to his lips and said, Shh. Andy put his finger to his lips and said, shh. Then he said, frog. Andy stared hard at Og. Og stared right back. Boing, Og said in his funny voice. Shh, Andy said. Og leaped into the water with a huge splash. Garth, sighed Mom. Uh, Garth sighed. Mom, he called. Can you get Andy out of here? He's bothering me. Garth's mom appeared at the door. Let Andy help. He wants to be included in the party. I can't come up with any clues with him around, Garth complained. You can only stay if you watch quietly, Garth's mom told Andy. She put a finger to her lips and said, 
There, there's the mom. And there's Andy and Garth. <laughs> okay, I'll watch, the little boy answered. Shh. At first, Andy stood quietly as Garth wrote on the slips of paper. What rhymes with flower? Garth asked. Boing, Og said. Poor Og doesn't know what boing, that boing doesn't rhyme with flower at all. Shower. That works, Garth said. I was trying to think of a flower that showered when Andy asked, What's that? A clue, Garth told him. Like a riddle. Whittle? Andy said. Aha! A clue is like a riddle. I like riddles. I was really curious about these clues. Garth wrote some more. Then he asked me, What do you think of this clue? Everyone knows you must water a flower. Tip me over. I'll give you a shower. He read, It's great, great, great! I squeaked, but I had no idea what the answer to the riddle was. As Garth wrote, he muttered other strange words like frown and goal and basket. Then he opened a desk drawer and pulled out a treasure chest. It was so small, he could hold it in the palm of his hand. Still, it looked like a real treasure chest, like the one on the, like that. It even had a tiny lock. What's that? Andy said. It's the treasure for the treasure hunt. It, it's something anyone in room 26 would love to have, Garth said. Anyone? Even a hamster? Remember, this is a secret, he added. Do you promise not to tell anyone? Promise, Andy said. Promise, I squeaked. Boing, Og agreed. To my surprise, Garth opened the door to my cage. Then he carefully put the treasure chest inside, covering it with my bedding. Leave it right there, Humphrey, he said, and don't peek. Okay, I promised, but even as I said it, I knew it would be a very hard promise to keep. At the end of the chapter, we go like this. Dun, dun, dun. So there's the picture. He hid it in his bedding. So that's where it's going to be hidden. Okay, the next chapter is called The Trouble Begins. Okay, next time.